Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast on Access. And this time we're going to dig into those calculated fields just a little bit deeper and also discuss field names. In our previous screencast, we noticed that the unit price field is both in the products table as well as in the order details table. Now, normally you never have a field with the same name in two tables unless it's used as the linking field, the primary key field, and the foreign key field between two tables. Then the linking field is very clear because it's got the same field name in both tables. Now, I personally don't like to make two tables have the exact same field name. I always add a suffix or a prefix to this foreign key field to identify that it's the foreign key field. However, this is a very common practice to have the same field name, the primary key field and the foreign key field to make the relationship between two tables. This, however, having a unit price field in both the products table and the order details table where that field is not used for the relationship, that is not very common. And it's also unclear because it does not represent the same data. This unit price represents the standard price for every product whereas this unit price represents the price that was charged at the time the order was made. So in a perfect world, you'd want to go back to the table and name those fields appropriately so that there's not this confusion on what that field represents. But sometimes you inherit a database and that's not possible. I want to show you how this data looks right now. I'm going to put the unit price field from the products table in right beside the unit price field from the order details table and look at the data sheet view. And we see that because the unit price field has the same field name, we've pre-qualified at products.unitPrice and then unit space price for the field that's coming out of the order details table. The reason for that is that this unit price field does not have a caption property in table design view. I removed it, but this field out of the order details table, I'll show you tables, order details, I'll open that up in design view. If I click the unit price field, which does not have a space, we see that the caption property does show a space. That's what's coming through on that query. If I look at the products table in table design view, unit price field that does not have a space does not have a caption property. So that's why right now, when I have two unit price fields, first one's getting qualified with the table name dot, and then the second one's picking up that caption property. But even that is confusing. So in design view, what we can do with the products table, let's rename this field and call it standard price, colon. Now that's a calculated field. The expression is just one field name, so it's a very simple expression, but it's new field name, colon, and then expression. I can put that unit price in square brackets to make it look a little bit more like an expression, but given the field does not have a space in it, it does not need those square brackets when I create that expression. And let's look at this data sheet view. And see, that's a lot clearer already. Here's the standard price that comes out of the products table. Here's the unit price that's captioned unit space price that comes out of the order details table. And just to drive this point home a little bit even further, let's change the standard price. Let's say the standard price has become $20. Now, it doesn't matter which record of these 41 records I change, because remember, that standard price is only stored once in the Boston Crab Meat record in the products table. So if I change that, all of these records are automatically updated because it's selecting that data out of the products table 41 times for the 41 orders of Boston Crab Meat that we found in the order details table. So there's the beauty of a relational database. When I change that value, no matter how many times Boston Crab Meat shows up on queries, forms, and reports, that standard price is now automatically changed everywhere. The unit price, on the other hand, if I give this customer a real deal and go down to $12, the unit price out of the order details table represents only that single time that that Boston Crab Meat was on that particular order. So each one of these 41 values for the unit price for, from the order details table is a unique and separate entry came out of the order details table. So that's another reason why we want all of our field names to be very clear. The same thing is true of the linking fields. The product ID field out of the products table is the primary key field. I cannot change that here because Boston Crab Meat is all 40. If I try to change that to 41 or any other product, 
I'm going to get beeped and it's going to say, no, you can't change a primary key field in a query like this. However, if I pull the product ID field out of the order details table and I go to data sheet view, so this product ID field represents the product ID out of the products table and I cannot modify that in this query. Whereas over here, I could change this line item to a different product. For example, let's try product 17. That's Alice Mutton. So I can change a line item. I can change the product ID field out of the order details table to order a different product. So knowing if you're working with the primary key field out of the parent table or the foreign key field with the same name out of the child table, that's another very important thing to study in your queries. They display the same data, but because this piece of data represents one and only one record out of the products table, and this column represents all 41 entries in the order details table, if you need to update data, it's very important to know which field you are working with. Thank you.